Hey, I'm Robbie Ferguson with Category 5 Technology TV, and if you're anything like me, you love to watch movies up on the big screen. I'm talking about going to the movie theater. It'd be really nice to be able to bring that experience home with you, though. But I can't, you know, necessarily justify going out and buying a 42-inch plasma screen TV only to set it up in the living room and have the kids write all over it with markers. That would be a terrible situation. Also, I can't justify spending two or three thousand dollars on a HD movie projector only to watch a movie once or twice a month or maybe put up a video game every now and then when I've got friends over. So what is the solution? What if I could tell you that we've got a product here we're going to be looking at in just a moment. We can put a 70-inch screen up on your wall for under three hundred dollars. That's right, I'm talking about the XPJ video projector from Olens Technology. And this little baby will plug into pretty much anything with inputs for S-Video, uh, say for your DVD player, for example. Uh, composite will work for uh, any composite device like a, a VHS VCR or uh, maybe a camcorder if you want to watch the home movies right up on the screen. And also VGA input if you want to connect this to a computer for, for playing, say, uh, your computer video games or uh, downloaded shows, programs like Category 5 right up on the projector. With many video projectors, you're used to seeing maybe a $200 or $400 price tag just to replace the bulb when it burns out. With the XPJ projector from Olens, uh, what we see is a price tag between $250 and $280 for the actual unit, and it includes not only the bulb that's in the unit, but also a replacement bulb. So after about 300 hours of use when the original bulb burns out, you don't have to run out and buy a bulb, there's already one included. And get this, if you do need to replace the bulb, they run for only $30. The low cost of the projector itself plus the replacement bulbs makes this a perfect device for, say, schools or low-budget uh, non-profit programs, uh, certainly for home use. And because it's so cheap, you're not so concerned about, you know, if the kids play with it or tinker with it or, or bump it or something like that because it's just not that big of a deal compared to, say, a two dollars or $3,000 unit where you're just like, hey, kids, stay away from that. Uh, but this device here, you know, we can allow the kids to set it up when they're old enough, uh, plug it into their Wii or Xbox or PlayStation, and be able to play their games up on the wall. Imagine playing the Wii on here. Now, I'm not really a console gamer myself, but I did plug it into my computer to play some Quake Wars, and that was a pretty awesome experience. So at under $300, what makes the XPJ projector so much different from, say, the $1,200 or $1,500 projectors, or even the HD projectors? Well, first of all, let me just say this. We can't compare apples to oranges. If you're looking at reviews out there and, uh, you know, you're surfing the web and looking for, you know, reviews of the product and you start to see somebody comparing it to a $1,200 projector or if you see somebody complain that, oh, it only has 300 lumens so it can't possibly be good. Well, we've got to look at this objectively. We've got to realize that the XPJ projector is in a class uh, completely separate from those HD projectors or the $1,200 or $1,500 projectors. You can't compare the two. The XPJ can be considered an entry-level system, but essentially it's an economy system. This is a, uh, a projector that projects a good image at 640 by 480 pixels, uh, so it's good enough for watching movies, and definitely uh, we've enjoyed it uh, watching, uh, we've, we do our Star Trek DVDs, and we've done a couple of movies just to kind of test the unit as well, and have found, you know, it's, it's very enjoyable, and certainly a lot better than watching a movie, say, on our 27-inch CRT television. Um, so when you compare that and look at the price tag, then we can be objective and say, okay, well, this is not a $1,200 projector, so we're not going to compare it to one. Let's uh, look at what else there is at the $300 range. We've got a 17-inch flat screen monitor. Okay, that's 17-inch. This is 70 inches. So let's just be logical here. So 300 lumens, uh, it is bright enough to, uh, to produce a really good image. And I'm going to show you just a little bit of a video here uh, just to kind of show you uh, how it works in different lighting situations. Now, my three-year-old daughter loves to watch this show Backyardigans. And she came down to my office one day and said, you know, she wanted to watch it up on the big TV, she calls it. So, uh, so I hooked it up and uh, put it up on the wall. And you'll see that I've got the lights on full force here. And I've got very bright lights in the, uh, in the office because I broadcast the show from the office. So we use this, these uh, special bulbs up in the fan. Um, so those bulbs are on full force, as you can see. And yet, you can still see that even though the video is kind of whitewashed, it's visible enough that my daughter is able to enjoy it and she doesn't know the difference. Now that said, let's look at a movie here. Now I filmed this clip with the lights off just to show you kind of how crystal clear the image is uh, in a completely dark room. Even at 300 lumens, as I was saying, uh, it is a very impressive image uh, if you're looking for just something that is reasonable and uh, certainly excellent for the price. Now that same clip is shown here with the lights on 
and you can see that the, the image is still respectable, it's still usable, and uh, so certainly you can be in a room with uh, a couple of lights on. You don't want to have it too bright because then you're going to be degrading the quality of the, uh, of the video itself, but certainly this is, uh, is quite enjoyable at this uh, lighting level as well. Now just to kind of show you the size of the screen, I'm just standing there beside my stunt double, and uh, you can see from the uh, luminescence of the room that I've actually got some lights on at this time, but even still, the picture is nice and bright and clear. Even at only 300 lumens, it's amazing that the XPJ projector is able to put such a nice crystal clear image up on the wall. And uh, you'll notice as well that I'm just projecting directly onto kind of an off-white wall. I'm not using a projector screen or anything like that. If you have a projector screen, which you can also buy from Olens Technology, uh, it will actually improve the luminosity as well because it's a special reflective material. Now, of course, the XPJ projector also includes a wireless remote control, just making things easier for you. And the on-screen display that's accessible through that remote, as well as the top panel buttons, allows us to change our input device uh, from the S-Video to the composite to the VGA, uh, and also to display information about the current connection. And then on top of that, as we go through this menu system, you can see that we can adjust the picture uh, from the contrast and brightness, the hue. Uh, we can just kind of tweak that to our liking so that uh, we can get the best performance out of our projector in each room. And then we're able to adjust the audio as well, and that's another thing to mention is that the XPJ does include uh, built-in stereo speakers. So if uh, you're connecting this to, say, an Xbox or a PlayStation, and you want to be able to uh, you know, not have to have a separate speaker system, you can actually connect that device directly to the input, and you'll be able to adjust the volume as well directly on the uh, on-screen menu. And then the final button on the uh, menu allows us to automatically uh, turn off the device after a set amount of time. Uh, reverse the horizontal or vertical axis in case you've got the uh, projector, say, hanging upside down. And, of course, uh, change the language. So there are a few languages there for the on-screen display as well. Well, Lens Technology stands by the XPJ projector with a one-year warranty. It's a fabulous product. Again, if you're in a low-budget uh, uh, situation where you want to be able to use this product, you know, have a big screen, I think it's perfect for schools. It's perfect for Montessori schools and uh, homeschoolers even who want to be able to uh, put stuff up on the wall. Absolutely perfect for you. Perfect for the kids with their video games. Perfect for me with my movies and Star Trek. The XPJ projector, again, retails between $250 and $280. The, the uh, bulbs are only $30, absolutely fabulous. You can find out more at olenstechnology.com or visit our website at category5.tv for the full review. For Category 5 Technology TV, I'm Robbie Ferguson.